Fringe is a show that um, I developed with uh, Alex Kurtzman and, and Bob Orsi, and it's sort of my favorite show because it takes all these things that I love and sort of wraps them into a package that uh, I, I can't wait to see, which is um, essentially the idea of that weird gray area where where reality and and science fiction meet. Essentially the premise of Fringe is that uh, things are happening in the world, very strange, often very scary, bizarre things. And this young um, female uh, agent, government agent, identifies uh, this correlation between these events and the work of this professor who existed sort of like a, a great modern day kind of uh, Frankenstein who is doing all sorts of incredibly strange things, uh, who's been institutionalized for the last 15 years. And she goes to get him out and can't. And in order to get him out, has to go and find his son, basically to be a guardian. And this sort of unlikely threesome become this force that begin to fight and hopefully solve the mysteries of these very strange goings on. My favorite stories are those that have very strange connectivity underneath the surface, meaning things have a certain appearance, and as a story unfolds, you realize that a lot of what you assumed was true turns out to be you know, quite different. And the fun of, of, of Fringe is that the ideas that Bob and Alex and I had about what the story would be, what the series would be, actually started in a place where this show is eventually gonna go. Meaning we realized the kind of story we wanted to tell, but thought, you know what? If we're gonna do this, we have to really earn it because it's insane. A lot of it's crazy. And so we realized that the backstory needed to build to it so that we actually felt like it was something that could exist. I think the thing that will be most appealing about Fringe, for me at least, it's very witty and I think very smart characters and very relatable characters. I think you watch them and you think, oh, I know those people, those are my friends, those are me, you know, I, I, I know them. Or I want to know them because, you know, they get along or they have very specific kind of, uh, I think, amusingly contentious relationships. And they're facing um, every week some of the most insane stuff you've ever seen and yet they're reacting to it the way you and I would. So there isn't that kind of confusion factor I've felt and often been responsible for in certain things I've worked on where the mythology is so deep that there's no way to get in. Meaning that you know, every week these characters will be responding, often at least you know, one of the characters, in a way that is you or me. And that to me is always you know, the kind of the basis for a great story, which is an ordinary, relatable person in an absolutely insane and extraordinary situation. And that to me is like a ride I can't wait to take every week.